this is Stampy, and welcome to a Minecraft Let's Play video, and another video inside of Stampy's a Lovely World. Today in this video, I am going to be joined by a whole bunch of people, and that is because we are going to be playing the Chicken Trail minigame, uh, which I just about finished building in the, the last episode, and the uh, the people I'm going to be joined are, uh, joined by are uh, Amy Lee, with all of her lovely, jubbly, love, love petals. <laughs> I got Viva Dash, who has, do, do you have any presents for me? Do you have any any flowers or, or anything for me? Oh, she's got she's got a potato for me. Okay, I won't be eating that because uh, I will be eating cake. But uh, thank you very much anyway. And I am also going to be joined by oh by Keen. I think Keen just teleported into my room then with one of his magic spells. <laughs> I'm also going to be joined by Wizard Keen, and it looks like he's got mushrooms. But you know what? I don't want flowers. I don't want mushrooms, and I don't want potatoes. I want cake. And oh, oh no, don't put don't put potatoes on my cake. Right. I had another attempt doing the, the secret recipe, and I think I made it really good this time so let's go and eat it and uh, have ourselves uh, a little test nom, 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 nom. Yeah, it tastes like potatoes. Viva Dash, the cake tasted like potatoes. And I don't mind a potato every now and then, but I do not want my morning cake to pff, taste like potatoes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, anyway, how about you guys go and head over to the, the game and get ready uh, while I go and head to the uh, the love garden and announce who it is I am going to, to be adding to it. And uh, it's a little bit weird at the moment uh, because I've only recently uh, extended my love garden and I'm just getting used to it. My love garden has been the same for so long and I've only added on a, an extra little row down here, but it already just looks different different and I'm still getting used to it. <laughs> I did, but yeah, the, uh, the person I'm adding to it today is Haru Kangaroo and that's because they drew this amazing picture which is Squishy and me but as a uh, Toy Story characters. You can see that Squishy's Buzz Lightyear uh, and I'm Woody and uh, we're flying uh, in the, the sky and I thought it looked really cool and I love Toy Story as well so I wanted to say uh, thank you so much Haru Kangaroo for sending me the uh, picture and welcome to my love garden. Uh, right then, uh, let's go now and uh, head off to the uh, the dog house and I'm going to pick a dog. Well, I'll tell you what, as soon as we're playing a, a mini game, uh, let's have Duncan and Mittens joining us. Uh, so then that way they can kind of keep themselves entertained as uh, as we all play. So uh, let me go and grab Duncan's from, of course, inside of the, the dog, uh, dog house. Duncan, Duncan, Duncan. Hello, Duncan. Duncan, here you are, Duncan. Have you been told off? Are you in timeout? Are you just there staring at the, the wall? It's okay, Duncan. I have pork chops. There we go. That got your attention. <laughs> there you go. You can have a pork chop. All right, then. And let's go now and head up to the kitty cat condo where we can go and uh, grab mittens. And uh, then we're going, uh, going to be heading to the, the fun land and begin playing the, the game. So, yeah, it's the, the chicken trail game. And uh, if you haven't seen the uh, the last few episodes, it's a, it's a pretty simple game. Basically, hello, mittens. You can come and uh, join us. <laughs> I think she's having a little bit of a nap on the, the pillow there. Right then, yeah. So the aim of the game is... You have a, a chicken, uh, which will either be Simon or Perry, uh, the other uh, two chickens, and uh, you need to guide them uh, by holding a lead with the uh, the chicken on the, the other end uh, through some glass. And then there are two trails. There's a, a red trail and a yellow trail, and you need to guide the chicken along the trail, and uh, there's a bunch of pressure plates. And every time the chicken goes over uh, one of the, the pressure plates, a lamp next to it lights up. And the aim of the game is to be the first person to light up uh, all of the uh, the lamps on your side. Uh, yeah, and then you're the uh, the winner. And I did do uh, a slight change to the, the game uh, since the, the last episode, uh, just to make it uh, so I think it plays uh, a little bit more fun. I basically made it a little bit wider at the top, uh, just so you have uh, more room to, to move around and guide the chicken. And I also got rid of the, the steps. Uh, there were steps at the, the end of the game, uh, but I realized that the, the chickens would kind of just head and try and run straight to the, the steps, uh, making them kind of a little bit too difficult to control. As I've now changed that for, for ladders, and apparently the chickens don't care as much about ladders as they do steps. Uh, so yeah, I think it uh, makes the game a lot more random now rather uh, than just having the uh, the chickens uh, trying to pull in the, the exact same direction. So uh, the uh, the game is literally just behind here and the way the tournament's going to work is the way I normally do it uh, which is where we have two people face off against each other and then the winners uh, face off against uh, the winners of another two people uh, that face off against each other and then we have the final and if we have time we can also see uh, who's going to be third and fourth as well. So here we go everyone is already at the, the game uh, we can see Amy Lisa having a swim and a spin <laughs> uh, looks like Wizard Keen's jumping on the bed. Naughty Wizard Keen. I just made those beds. I know it's uh, a little bit weird them outside <laughs> and Viva Dash just seems to be uh, standing around waiting for everyone to, to play the game. So uh, let's go and uh, head up then and uh, we can go and uh, begin. So you can see uh, I made it just uh, one block uh, wider around the edge as you can go and stand uh, here and hopefully not fall off. And also uh, there are ladders here and so uh, the way you get the chicken up the ladder is you just kind of guide it down here. You can kind of see there's a little corridor of glass. Then if you can run to the other side uh, the chicken just goes up the, the ladder and uh, you're ready to, to play the, the game again. So uh, where's Duncan and Mittens? I want to make 
make sure that they, they, they don't go and uh, jump down into the, the game because uh, that might be a, make it a little bit too difficult. And I'm a little bit scared about having Duncan so close to the, the edge. So let me go and uh, grab a lead and let me try and put Duncan on it. And no, Amy! Amy, you just pushed Duncan off the edge. I was just trying to be careful and move him closer and you just go and kick him off the, the edge. <laughs> right, hopefully, because he's still on a lead, I can just pull him up the, the ladder. And there we go. We've got him uh, back up to the uh, the top here. Let's just go and uh, put him... I kind of want them out of the, the way. So let's go and uh, have them sitting down uh, around here somewhere. And there we go. Amy Lee's saying sorry to, to Duncan. Uh, I don't think he likes flowers. Give him this, Amy. Give him the, the pork chop and then he'll love you. <laughs> right then. And let's go and uh, let's go and uh, begin the the game then. So I uh, tell you what, Amy, uh, I'll go against you for the uh, the first round, and I'm assuming uh, you're probably going to to want to to have Simon, uh, just because I know you probably like the the color red and want to go on that trail. So I'm going to have Pesky Perry again. <laughs> so let me go and get uh, let's uh, let's go and get Perry on the uh, the lead. It looks like uh, he's wandered off. Uh, so if you go and grab Simon, uh, go and grab that lead, and then you can go and uh, hook him on. And then all we need to do is put them onto the the pressure plate, and then we can uh, begin the 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 game. So your chickens are over here, Amy. If you want to go and uh, get Simon on the, the lead, I'm going to go and try and get uh, Perry kind of in position. And then I'm going to go three, two, one, and pull the, the lever. So three, two, one, and go. Right, the, the lever has been pulled. Uh, we need to go and try and get the, the chickens down the, the hole, which is going to be the, the first step. And then uh, we're going to guide them along the, the trails. It looks like Amy uh, has got Simon down before me, which is going to give her a bit of a, a head start. Uh, but there we go. Perry was down straight away after. Right, let's go then. Let's go and bring them along the, the trail. So you want to be as fast as you can, uh, but you also want to be careful uh, to try and make sure uh, you don't accidentally... Uh, light up the, the other person's trail. You want to be quite accurate. And uh, it looks like we're pretty much uh, neck and neck right now. I think I've got slightly ahead there. Perry seems to be a lot less pesky now uh, than he was in the, the last episode. And oh no, I nearly lit up one of her Amy's there. I don't want to do that. I got a bit of a, a straight stretch here. I was able to get a, a good bit of a speed there. And I'm starting now uh, to really pull into the, the lead. I've only got one more corner to, to go and uh, a final stretch. And I'll be able to, to light them all up. And here we go. One and two. And there we go. I was able to, to light them all up. We were neck and neck uh, for almost the uh, the entire game uh, but then just about halfway through or slightly after I was able to, to really pull ahead it looks like Amy though uh, wants to, to carry on and uh, make sure Simon has lit up all of the, the lights and then all we need to do now is go and lift them up the, the ladder so if I kind of step to the, the side here I can go and lift up uh, Perry and uh, let's put him back down here on his uh, on his post and uh, he'll be ready uh, for the, the next game uh, so the only problem now is uh, we need to wait for the, uh, the lights to turn off before we can start the, the next game uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to very quickly cut ahead in the, the video until all of the, uh, the lights are back off and then uh, then we can go and have Beaver Dash going off against Wizard Keen. Okay, as you can see, all of the uh, the lights are turning off. And so this is basically like a, an action replay of what happened. You can see that like Amy took the, the lead and then uh, I started speeding up here. We're basically seeing in reverse uh, what happened because of all of the, the lights turning on, uh, we're seeing them all turning off. So I think it's about here where I started getting the, the lead. Yeah, you can see I was quite fast going down here. Uh, but yeah, it doesn't matter. That was the, the old game. You saw that game. We are now ready uh, for the, the next game. And that is going to be between Beaver Dash and Wizard Keen. So if you both go and uh, pick whichever chicken you want and uh, yeah if you get the the chickens in position that they actually uh, seem to be uh, kind of in a, a good position uh, as they are uh, already so if we start quite quick uh, hopefully we can begin straight away so uh, as soon as wizard keen has his uh has his chicken perry on a, a lead uh, we can begin so let's start in three two one go and there we go that was a, a nice double drop there <laughs> from both the uh, the chickens and we're off so viva dash uh, is controlling simon uh, on the the red trail and uh, wizard keen uh, is uh, controlling uh, perry uh, on the the yellow side so obviously uh, i did uh, pretty well on the the yellow side uh, but even though it might not look like it uh, there is the exact length uh, of track the the same uh, on both sides so there's the uh, the same amount of pressure plates and uh, the same distance uh, both chickens need to, to travel because the red starts on the outside and then eventually goes to the the inside and then uh, vice versa as well uh, which actually makes it uh, quite difficult uh, to gauge uh, who is uh, ahead at each time because obviously on the the red one uh, you're kind of doing more early on and then less later on because uh, it kind of loops around here so I must say I think that Viva Dash uh, is definitely in the the lead uh, so far in this race here but she still uh, has uh, two more lights uh, to try and light up Kane does have a chance but he seems to having a bit of trouble but there we go the Eva Dash has done it as you can see uh, every single light uh, is lit up on the, the red side uh, which means uh, that Viva Dash uh, is the uh, the winner of round number two which means the uh, the final is going to be me uh, going up against Viva Dash but what we're going to do now is uh, oh looks like uh, <laughs> looks like uh, Wizard Keen is still trying to get all of his lights lit up nope I think he's I think he's had enough but I'm sad to say uh, you're going to go and have to have uh, another game straight away because what we're going to do 
do is we're going to have Wizard Keen uh, going up against Amy uh, to see uh, who's going to be in third and fourth place. But uh, seeing as it's uh, started uh, to get pretty dark, uh, it's probably uh, a good idea if we all go and uh, have a little bit of a, a sleep first. So let me just go and uh, make sure that there's no googlies around. Uh, there are a few, but they don't seem uh, to be very close by. So we can all do uh, is go to, to sleep. And then in the, the morning, uh, we're going to have um, uh, Wizard Keen going up against Amy Lee. And then after that, uh, the uh, the finals uh, with me going up against Viva Dash. Okay, it's now the, the morning, and as you can see, once again, the, the lights are all switching back off, uh, which means we are ready for the next round. So this one, as I mentioned, is going to be Amy Lee against Wizard Keen, and so this uh, is for third and fourth place. So of course, the, the winner uh, will be in third place, and then the, the loser uh, will be in fourth place. So it looks like, uh, once again, uh, Amy Lee is going to be going with Simon, uh, whereas Wizard Keen is going with uh, is going to be going with Perry. So if you try and get them roughly in the, the right area, I'm going to go and uh, pull the, the lever. Let's try and give Simon a little bit of a, a nudge and get him into position. <laughs> right then, I am going to go and pull the, the lever in a three, a two, a one, go, 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 go. Right, the lever has been pulled at all. Once again, it looks like Pesky Perry has gone for a bit of a wonder. And oh no, it looks like Wizard Keen's gone for a wonder. Wizard Keen's trying to pull Perry down. <laughs> Perry just about was able to stay up. And there we go, he's fallen down. And it looks like uh, Wizard Keen uh, didn't actually lose too much time over that. Look, they're already neck and neck already, despite falling off the game. <laughs> Wizard Keen has been able to, to bring this one back. And it looks like... Uh, I think Wizard Keen might have a tactic of maybe not exactly following the, the trail. It looks like he just tries to go for all the, the pressure plates uh, no matter where they are. I don't know if that's a, um, a tactic he means to do or whether that's just uh, uh, down to his chicken control. <laughs> uh, either way, uh, they do seem to be very even right now. It seems like Keen might be slightly ahead. Uh, but then again, uh, Wizard Keen is also uh, still lighting up uh, all of the uh, the pressure plates uh, on uh, on Amy's side as well by accident. But there we go. I think Wizard Keen now uh, has definitely uh, pulled into the, the lead. He did miss a pressure. Uh, pressure plate and had to, to go back. Oh, but look, Amy Lee's accidentally uh, got Simon trapped in the uh, the exit area. It uh, looks like um, it looks like she's going to have to go back and get one of the the ones that she missed. And this is so close. Actually, no, look, Wizard Keen only has one more to, to light up, but so does Amy, and Amy just got it. <laughs> it looked like Wizard Keen was going to, to win, but at the the last second, uh, Amy was able to to light one up, which means that only just <laughs> she was able to to win and uh, was able to to get into into third place. So well done, Amy Lee. That was uh, the uh, the closest game uh, we've had yet. Uh, but coming up next is going to be the the most important game because it's going to be uh, the uh, the grand final uh, between me and Viva Dash uh, to try and find out uh, who is going to be the Chicken Trail champion. Right then, let's go and start the uh, the final match. Are you ready, Viva Dash? This is very important because uh, whoever wins is going to be known as the first ever champion of Chicken Trail, which people are going to be talking about for probably about a day until I build the next mini game. But that doesn't matter. <laughs> let's go and uh, begin the game. So uh, are you going to go and have Simon again? Yes. Right, looks like I am going to be controlling Perry, which is fine by me. Even though he was a little bit pesky to, to begin with, uh, Perry has definitely been growing on me. <laughs> right then, we will start the final round. In three, two, one. Oh, oh no, oh no. Oh, Viva Dash pulled the lever early. Right then, it looks like we've started already. I was not ready, but oh well. Uh, let's go and uh, carry on the, the game. So you can see that some of the lights are still lit up, uh, but they're all going to, to be turning off uh, as we play. Uh, so we are going to have to go and uh, light them uh, again. So no freebies, no freebies. But because of that start, uh, because Viva Dash pulled the lever and I wasn't ready, uh, looks like she's actually uh, got a pretty good lead over me. So let's go and uh, make sure I light all of these up. Uh, there's a few down here. And Perry, don't be pesky now. Please go to where I want you to go. Here. Here we go. I always struggle with this first windy bit, but then when I get to here, I start to, to get a little bit uh, quicker. And once I get to these big long straights, I'm able to, to go faster, but then again, I'm doing awful now. I think I'm probably pulling Perry a little bit too uh, too fast. Maybe if I try and slow down a little bit and try and guide him gently, I might do a little bit better, but oh no, it doesn't matter. Look, Viva Dash has won already. Right, I guess I can see why she has Dash in her name. Look, she's got them all lit up. Are they all definitely lit up? Yeah, they are. Right, let's go and uh, finish off the, the game anyway, because I want to to do it for for good fun and uh, let's go and get that last one right i actually thought i was doing pretty good there but then i turned around and it turned out that viva dash had got them all lit already so let's go and uh, get perry and simon back up the, the ladders and then uh, we can go and tie them back down and i must now say that viva dash is the first ever champion of chicken trail so uh, well done viva dash she certainly uh, looks very happy with herself i know viva dash i know you won Ve very well done very well done <laughs> i don't think i've ever seen her so energetic <laughs> so there we go uh, this is the uh, the chicken trail trail game. Uh, I'm pretty happy with it. I think it's uh, pretty good fun and each round uh, was uh, was very different to the uh, the other ones in terms of how close they were and uh, how controllable the uh, controllable the, the chickens were. Uh, so yeah, I'm pretty uh, pretty happy with it. So in the the next episode, I'm going to be heading back to the the town. 
and I'm going to be building something new over there. Uh, so you're just going to go and see the, the next episode uh, to find out what that's going to be. Uh, but for now, I want to thank you all very much for watching, and I will see you all later. Bye!